Unfortunately, Drakkar Close was injured. Now, you can see here is a statement that he said, after I was pushed by Jeremy at UFC face-offs, I immediately felt my hand go numb and neck tighten up. Sean Shelby and the UFC official sent me to the PI to get work done by the UFC PI staff for two hours. I spent the night eating, rehydrating, stretching, and even saw the PI staff uh, later that night. I woke up early this morning with a migraine headache, nausea, and the only thing that made me feel better was laying in the dark. UFC got me medicine and I rested for a couple hours before getting up and vomiting. It was at that point we called the UFC doctor and he made the decision to send me to the hospital. I am sorry to everyone who was excited for this fight. I tried to do everything I could to stay in it. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Drakkar Close and Jeremy Stevens, guys, we did not get the fight we wanted. Mike, what do you make of this? Well, first and foremost, at this point in the UFC, much of us, we're all still cutting weight. And it's a big, it's a staple to the sport. It's in, everybody does it in every weight class. And the science behind a weight cut is when you're essentially pulling all the water out of your body, the, the, the part of your body that suffers the most is gonna be everything above your shoulders. And when you are, when your body is essentially just that little window of being compromised, when you're drained, it doesn't take a lot to be jarred. Like, if anybody back home is saying that Drakkar Close is right. being soft and trying to get out of the fight, make no mistake, I have the same manager as Drakkar Close, and he was so excited for this fight. What an opportunity to fight a legend like Jeremy right. Stevens. And it doesn't take a lot. It's a, that's a stiff shove he didn't see coming, yeah. and you can't question his toughness. And, 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 and I can only hope that he's recovering well, but that it's very unfortunate for us, for the fans, and for Drakkar Close. And Alan, before I get your comment on this, I want to say the technical, uh, the actual diagnosis, cervical sprain of the neck and a concussion. So it's essentially wow. uh, a whiplash situation. And Alan, I know you have had neck injuries yourself, yeah. so you can definitely speak to uh, the issue. Yeah, I know all about it. I mean, you, you, when you, your neck as a fighter, too, I mean, that's your go-to. you, you got to protect your neck in the fight at all times, and that's something that when your cervical, your spine is off, you don't feel right. But you, see, you listen to what he was talking about. He said... He didn't, he, he only felt comfortable when he was sitting in the dark, he got dizzy, he was vomiting. Those are all concussed symptoms right there. Those are yep. all the things that you, that happened. So obviously at some point, somehow, even though we look at him, we go, how did concussion uh, uh, happen during that? But Mike just alluded to it. When you're cutting weight, your body's a little bit more vulnerable, you're not there, he wasn't expecting it. Nonetheless, it, it's an unfortunate event. I'm hoping that Jeremy, look, Jeremy's a passionate fighter. We all love it. That's what comes mm -hmm. out in all these fights is that passion in yeah. the fighting. The passion got a little bit too much and boiled over right there during the face-off. I'm hoping that Jeremy probably learned something from this because this is a fight that needs to happen. Now, we all oh, yeah. want to happen. The fire, the backstory now is there. We just have to make sure that the mm -hmm. fighters go into this fight healthy. Oh, and we oh, sorry, I was just gonna say, and, and just make note, look, like you said, Jeremy is a passionate fighter, but there was no malicious intent oh, behind the push. We see Chippy Wayne's all the time, he's guiding <laughs> each other faces, little pushes, yeah. sometimes it's throwing kicks. It's not the first time somebody's been pushed, right? right. It's no. not the first time he's had an injury from it. So yes. there was no malicious intent. I think that that needs to be highlighted as well because Jeremy's a father, he's a good man, yeah. and I just don't, that he was not out to do something like this. He's just passionate about no, this matchup. No, he's passionate, yeah. and you know, all the build up to the fight was, I gotta teach this young man a little something. So yes, he was definitely passionate, and let's remember, you know, not too long ago, Jeremy was kind of on the other side of this in the uh, stoppage with the Ayer Rodriguez when we had that no con and everybody thought Jeremy didn't want yep. to fight. So Good what point. goes around, you know, it's just unfortunate, but hopefully they will rebook that fight. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.